Do you guys cheat on your diet? Do you have trouble losing weight? I may have the secret solution for you. Stay tuned. Dave Palumbo here for another supplement and science review. Today we're going to be talking about a weight loss drug. It's actually a diabetes drug, but it's, it's a weight loss drug because that's really predominantly how it works, called Ozempic. It's also known as a GLP-1 peptide, glucagon-like peptide 1. It does some crazy, amazing things in the body. It's naturally actually released by your gut when you eat meals, but they found that by isolating this peptide, and they obviously have different forms of it being sold by different companies, but Ozempic is pretty uh, much the form that most people are purchasing now and getting prescribed by doctors. It's actually the secret weight loss drug of the Hollywood elite now. Everyone seems to be using it. How does it work? Well, glucagon-like peptide one actually slows gastric emptying. So it slows the, the food moving through your intestinal tract and in doing so, it actually makes you feel full. So people who have trouble cheating on diets seem to do really well with this. It also seems to have something to do with leptin sensitivity. Now leptin is a hormone that the brain produces after you eat telling you you're not hungry anymore. A lot of people produce enough leptin but they don't have good sensitivity to their leptin. In other words, they don't have good receptors. And I think, I personally think Ozempic does something with leptin sensitivity because people who take this drug are not hungry. They eat their meals and then they're satisfied. And I'm talking about people who are cheaters. So if you cheat on your diet, this is probably going to be a really good weight loss drug for you. Now the other great thing is it improves blood sugars. And the way it does that is number one, it helps the pancreas produce additional insulin if the pancreas is, is, is a little sluggish. But more importantly, it prevents the liver from cranking out tons of glucose during the day because we know the liver likes to do that. The liver stores glucose, sugar, as glycogen, and it can release that glycogen anytime it wants. And a lot of times it over-releases it, which puts a, a strain on the pancreas to have to produce more insulin, right? It also can cause you to get fat because if you're constantly putting glucose into the bloodstream and releasing insulin, insulin is a fat storage hormone, you can absolutely gain weight from that or make it hard to lose your weight, right? Also, the liver will sometimes release uh, glucose by turning amino acids into glucose. That's known as gluconeogenesis. So it seems as though this drug, Ozempic, prevents that liver from cranking out extra glucose. And that's a very good way of keeping blood sugars under control and weight under control. But it's the appetite suppression that seems to really be doing miracles for a lot of people because people are snackers. I work with a lot of people from bodybuilders to regular everyday people and people cheat on their diet because they have emotional issues, they're bored, okay? They, you know, when you tell them they can't eat something, they wanna eat it, you know? So they find a million different reasons why to, to snack on food when they shouldn't be snacking. Even though you can give them six meals a day and they still want more and more and more. Whereas normally, if they weren't dieting, they probably could barely get three or four meals down. So something happens when you restrict food. People's brain don't work so well when they want more food. This drug seems to take away that feeling. A lot of people describe it as, you know what, I just, I could care less about the food. The food just is not as important in my life anymore. And I've seen some really miraculous transformations in people's physiques because combined with a good diet and some cardio and even other fat burns, the fat loss is, is incredible, it really is. And you could potentially get it from your doctor. Uh, a lot of doctors probably won't prescribe it because it's kind of an off-label use of it, but if you go to titanmedicalcenter.com, our good friends at Titan, Sharice and John, they are, their doctors will prescribe it for you. They do have a supply of it, and that's another thing to consider. This stuff is, is so in demand right now that no one has it. Pharmacies are out of it for months, back-ordered. It's really hard to get a hold of it. I know TitanMedicalCenter.com has a form of it, and it is available. And there's actually a, even a, another form coming out, which is going to combine two different drugs. 
and I'll talk about that. It's called Manjaro. I'll talk about that in another uh, video. But right now, I want to don't want to confuse the, the issue. I think a lot of people out there who have trouble following a diet, sticking to a diet, or just are very resistant to fat loss might want to give this a try. This might be the secret ingredient that you've been missing in your fat loss cocktail, as I call it. So that's something you want. And, and oh, another thing I want to point out is that it's super convenient to use because it's literally one shot per week. You don't have to take pills every day. You don't have to remember to do anything. You literally take one injection per week and you start really small. It's, it, the starting dose is 0.25 milligrams once a week for four weeks and then you can go up to you know half a milligram, 0.5 uh, milligrams per week. And after four weeks, you can go up to one milligram and you can actually work your way every four weeks up to two milligram maximum dose. The reason why you have to really progress very slowly is because it can make you nauseous, this drug. So if you take too much right up to that, you'll feel horrible. You can, you can even vomit and potentially have uh, diarrhea from this drug. So you don't want to overdo it. You have to take those mini steps. But you know what? Anyone I've seen use the drug seems to lose weight right from the very beginning. So it's not like you need that higher dose to lose the weight because it works even at the lower dose. And so I think that that for every four week progression is going to be probably something that's good because it kind of, as it maybe slows down of how it's working, maybe you just, you just bump it up a little bit more. So every four weeks you'll be bumping it up. And that's something that whoever prescribes it to you will tell you the, the correct dosing protocol. It's pretty standard. Everyone does it. There's no like special protocols that some people have that don't. That seems to be the best way to do it. Now, there are some contraindications to this, so it's very important. Like, I couldn't take this drug. Not that I need it. <laughs> I don't have any body fat anyway, but um, if you have a history or you do have, if you had thyroid cancer, you do not want to take this drug. It can cause um, thyroid neoplasions in people who are very prone to it or if people who have it, it can cause thyroid cancer. So you don't want to take it if you have a history of thyroid issues in your family. When I mean thyroid issues, I don't mean hypothyroidism. I mean thyroid tumors. Uh, that's not something you want to do. Also, pancreatic, any kind of like uh, endocrine related pancreatic, you know, cysts or anything like that, I wouldn't take it. And if obviously, if you're in any kind of kidney failure, that's another contraindication as well. So if you're a healthy person and you don't really have any family history of thyroid cancers, that's something that you can certainly look into and talk to the doctors about whether it be your doctor or, like I said, if you go to titanmedicalcenter.com, they are awesome with this. They're, they have doctors on staff that they can, they're going to take a full history. They're going to do blood work with you. And if they put you on this drug, I promise you, you're going to see some amazing results. I, I was flabbergasted by some of the people that I, I I'm not going to mention names because you know, they may not want me to throw it out there, but I've seen some people who have very, very difficult dieters. They have a lot of trouble losing weight. And it's usually because they... Once again, they have very weird schedules and they eat erratically and sometimes they'll snack a little bit because they're just you know, up enormous amounts of hours. These people do really well because it just takes away that, that, that wanting to nosh appetite. You know, I got a snack here, I got a snack there. I remember when my sister used to diet, <laughs> she'll kill me for saying this, but she knows it's true. She used to eat raisins. She was always digging into the raisins. I'm like, you're eating five times a day. Can you stop the raisins already? And she, we throw them out and she's lost a lot of weight. But sometimes it's really hard, you know, because you're busy, you're stressed out, you, have anxious, you got a lot of responsibility. This uh, medication seems to really take away the edge from the appetite. And once again, if you have blood sugar issues, it will really improve those as well. So it kinda, it's a kind of like you get two, two for one on this one. You get an improved uh, blood sugar control and you get weight loss. And let's face it, they go together, right? Because if you have poor blood sugar control, it probably means your body's over-releasing insulin, okay? Your blood sugar is not tight and then that leads to obviously gaining weight because too much insulin we know causes fat gain. So it makes sense that by correcting one, you correct the other. Anyway, I wanted to put this out there. It's a relatively new drug. It's been around, but its, but it's application as a weight loss drug is relatively new. But you'll see there's a lot of Hollywood people using this now for weight loss. And I'm going to make a prediction right now. You're going to see a lot of people in the bodybuilding and fitness industry using this drug to get in shape for competitions. I've heard one person tell me, well, this, this could replace thyroid and, and clenbuterol. 
and it very well could. But the truth of the matter is most people will just stack them all together, right? <laughs> That's what we do in this industry. We stack them. We don't take one out. We just add, we just add another one. Now this, this seems to be a, a, a very safe drug, assuming you don't have these family histories that I spoke about. And everyone that I have seen who's used it has got nothing but positive effects from it. So give it a shot. Check out our friends at TitanMedicalCenter.com. I'm Dave Palumbo for another RX Muscle Supplement and Science Review.